He's not getting over. He has nobody around him, but he's just not getting over. It happened so quick that I was in between the two trucks and hollered. The individual had a cigarette in one hand and a phone in the other hand. And they were passing 70 miles an hour, a work crew, and didn't care. Uh, inattentiveness and distracted driving, I think, is our biggest problem right now. And then he just decided he's barely got over in time and he clipped that TMA that I was about to walk out in front of. And then he proceeded to just keep right on driving. So that was more than a close call, I guess it was a hit. Semi truck come by and sideswiped the pickup. And then I believe as he pulled back into the lane, the trailer swung wide and hit the boom truck ruined the hydraulic tank, the fuel tank, tore the mirror off. We watched um, a car pass the attenuator truck, veer right back into the right-hand lane where uh, the work worker crews were located, was heading straight for the crews, saw them, overcorrected, spun out into the median, crossing both lanes of traffic. Just walked behind my truck, went up, got back in the cab, and the forward TMA behind the button truck, the operator asked me, he just said, Harry, have you ever been hit? And about the time I picked up the radio to answer him, I dropped the mic because I looked in the mirror and noticed a one-ton Dodge pickup was about ready to clobber the back of the Twiggy truck. So I grabbed the steering wheel, which was probably the wrong thing to do, just out of reaction, I tightened up, and he hit me, and the state patrol figured he was doing about 60, 65. We have a close call every day on, on a work zone. I mean, it's going to happen, or of several. I tell you what, it's still just, it hits home. You know, it's so clear every day that you think about it. I didn't grow, grow up knowing my grandpa because he was killed um, working for Caltrans doing highway construction work. And so, to me, that hits home. Um, not, not having that experience, my mom not having grown up with her dad, um, me not grown up with my grandfather because of a situation where someone ran through the cones and uh, took a life. I think everybody should try to experience it at least once. I think they'd understand if they were in a lane closure and had to stand there and let the traffic go by them. It's, uh, it's not a very comfortable situation and I don't think it ever gets comfortable. I like where I work. I like who I like my customers, most of them. Mm -hmm. I just want to do the best job we can do and go home and give the wife a kiss and daughter a hug and do a little homework and go to bed and get up and do it again.